Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, it's time to do another Drinking with Dustin segment. I was going to plan on uh, doing some more gaming videos, um, but uh, it was my 30th birthday and my friends took me out to um, one of my favorite places in my hometown, which is Weasel Boy, uh, the local brew pub in Zanesville, Ohio. And uh, while I was there, I saw they had my favorite beer of theirs back. Not only did they have my favorite beer back on tap, but they had an even better version of it. Um, also on tap. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a growler of that. But what I did get a growler of is the Anastasia Russian Imperial Stout um, from them. And uh, the big thing about this is it's the 2012. It's a 2012 gold medal winner from the Great American Beer Fest in Colorado. So uh, to know that my local hometown brew pub went there and won a gold medal uh, with this beer that I love. Is really kind of a crazy thing. Like it, it, it when I read it online, it, it blew my mind because um, I remember that place first opened up, and I remember when the Anastasia first went on sale, and just how you know we all sat back and drank it and thought, man, this is such a great beer. It's unfortunate that no one else, you know, in America gets to you know try it out. But uh, you know, hopefully, some people that were there got to try it. Uh, they do go around to different festivals and stuff, and to sort of uh, celebrate the, the, the microbrew, um, you know, that um, culture there. So, um, unfortunately, I can't, you know, recommend you guys go out and buy it because they don't bottle yet and they really don't have any plans on bottling and uh, having a distribution. It really just kind of is a local thing, which is cool. But if you're not, you know, in the southeastern Ohio area, you're kind of missing out on this. But uh, the other beer that they had there was a bourbon barrel aged version of the Anastasia and it was $10 for a little glass of it but man was it friggin worth it. It is delicious. But uh, without further ado I'm going to try to pour this growler. Um, oh that was a nice uh, nice hiss there. I don't know if the camera picked it up. But uh, I'm going to pour this here and uh, it's kind of awkward pouring from a growler but you know what are you going to do? And right away, let me set this down and cap it so I don't lose any more. Right away, oh my gosh, right away you can see that head, that dark, foamy head. And uh, this thing is black as midnight. You smell it, and you just get that roasted chocolate that just drives me crazy. Um, I love Russian Imperial Stouts, and... Um, it was so nice to just sit around with friends and uh, drink these and enjoy turning ancient. Um, I don't know. I'm going to have to figure out something to do with my life now that I'm 30. Jesus. But anyway, yeah. So you get the on, on the top of it there. You get the nice um, that nice roasted chocolate. Now, this is a bit different from other um, imperial stouts. It doesn't really have that punch that you get from other stouts or other Russian imperials. So. Let's go ahead and uh, give it a few swigs here. That is absolute perfection. Um, it's really unfortunate that <clears throat> I can't tell you guys to go out and buy these bottles. Um, you know, it, it's... It's unfortunate that you have to go in there and buy a growler and you have to take that growler back in and like get it refilled, you know, every now and then. Because if they start selling beer and like I mean, they're going to get big cuz their stuff is really freaking good. And um the name Weasel Boy, the uh the brewers, the two owners um are really into uh ferrets. And um all their beers are named after different uh ferrets. Um there's like the Brown Stout Stout which is their, their um, normal stout. Um, what is, I can't remember them all. Um, I'll put a link down below to the website so you guys can check it out. And um, you can kind of see, like, when you look, when you look at pictures in the, um, on the website, you can kind of see a little bit of Zanesville. Zanesville is a really kind of the definition of a Rust Belt city. Um, you know, there was a lot of industry in it and stuff like that, and that, that kind of all left. And now it's kind of one of those kind of sad and depressing towns, but it's home, you know, it's my, it's my hometown. But, um, anyway, man, let's get back to this. Oh, 
Oh, it's so good. And it really, it really is filling. Like, when it's in your mouth, and you kind of swish it around your mouth, it doesn't really feel like a heavy beer, kind of like a lot of other, um, you know, stouts do. But then you swallow it, and you start, you know, getting down the glass, and you're like, man, I'm just so full. But, yeah, you really get that roastiness, that chocolateness, the coffee. It's all there. Really, afterwards, you get a nice bitter finish because it does have some sweetness to it. Um, there was one that they, um, one year they let uh, a few um, kegs age for a year, and then they put that on tap, and you drank it, and you got that hit of a Russian Imperial Stout, but then you almost got like this, um, it almost puts you in mind of blueberries, but that's not really the correct, um, the correct flavor. It, it was this really nice sweetness, and then when it hit the back of your throat, you really got that nice bitter finish. It was something to behold. And, you know, this doesn't reach that height of, the, uh, of aging in a year, but man... That is really freaking good. I mean, I've talked to the owners, and I'm like, you guys need to bottle this stuff and start selling it. And, you know, it, it, it's a small operation. They just started um, in 2006, and it really is kind of a, a, an area institution now. Um, a lot of people um, kind of don't go to Kroger or don't go to, uh, you know, Walmart to buy their beer. They go to Weasel Boy, and they buy really good handcrafted beer that was made in the city they live in. That's something special. So, um, while I can't tell you to go out and buy some of this, if you ever go to a beer festival and you see Weasel Boy there, definitely give them a try because it is something really awesome. Um, I'm going to put the link down below so you can check out the website. Maybe, I don't know if they post like events when they're going to uh, beer events around the country, but um, man, I really hope that they... Uh, they, they start bottling this stuff because uh, this is always, you know, I've, I've not lived in Zanesville for almost four years now. And, you know, this is just a taste of home. So I just thought I'd share that with you guys. I know I can't, you know, tell you guys to go out and get it, but um, just thought I'd share that sort of taste of home, I guess. <laughs> so anyway, guys, um, that is Weasel Boys 2012 Great American Beer Fest gold medal winning Anastasia Russian Imperial Stout. Um, so, see, I, I want to tell you, go out and try it, but I can't tell you that. So, anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time.